I wanted to talk to you today about the first person controller, mainly how we can place it in our scene and manipulate the inputs once we've done so. Now you can see under the hierarchy tab we have a main camera and that's put in there by default, but we don't necessarily want to use that when we're running our game. To locate the first person controller, go under your standard assets folder under your project tab, click on the arrow to release the drop down menu and click on the arrow next to prefabs. You can see the first person controller and its contents in this file. To place this controller in your scene, simply click on the first person controller and drag it into your scene. From there you can see all of its attributes are shown under the inspector and from there you can simply manipulate its position. Now if I go ahead and run this you can see that I've got a first person controller and I can move forward and backward. I can use my mouse to look up and down. And I can use my left and right arrows to pan back and forth. As you can see, if I hit my left arrow and my right arrow, all it's doing is panning back and forth. What I'd like to do is change the input so that when I hit my left and right arrows, it tilts the view of the camera rather than pans back and forth. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get out of game view Go back to my scene. I'm going to go to the Edit menu, locate Project Settings, and select Input. What that's going to do is bring up the Input Manager in my Inspector tab. I'm going to click on the arrow next to Axes, and you can notice I've got a wide variety of options here. What I'm going to be concerned with is the Mouse X tab, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on that arrow. And as you can see, it shows all the different attributes that are associated with mouse X. What I'd like to do is under negative button, I'm going to enter left, and positive button, I'm going to enter right. I'm going to then go up to my horizontal tab, and where it says left and right, I'm going to delete those attributes, and do the same for alt negative button and alt positive button. What those are are your alternative buttons, so A and D translating to left and right. I'm going to go down and add those attributes A and D for the alt negative button and alt positive button under mouse X. Just another thing to make sure of, under type, I want to make sure that I've selected key or mouse button. By default, it's going to select mouse movement, so I want to make sure that I have key or mouse button selected when I make these changes. Now if I go ahead and run this, you can see that I can move forward and backwards. I can tilt up and down with my mouse. And when I go left or right, it will tilt my camera left or right, but you can see it goes very, very fast. There's one more setting I need to change in order to fix this. If I go back to my Mouse X menu, you can see I've got Gravity and Sensitivity. They're set to 3 at the moment. I'm going to back both of those way down to about 0.1 each. If I go ahead and run this again, moving back and forth goes much slower. I would suggest once you've installed your first person controller to go ahead and get rid of the main camera. You're not going to need it when you run your game. So I'm just going to right click it and select delete. I hope this video has encouraged you to play with the first person controller. There's a number of different settings that you can change to get the desired look and feel for your game.